Well, this is how it all starts. Well, right from the back here, it's all high up there in that back up in the back part there. And all the water starts going in here. And there's the little ditch that we made. It starts going through here. And then follows this ditch all the way along. There's water all over there. Some more over there. Lots of water. The old house. And call this all the way down. You can see that. Drops down a slight slope. Deep there for some reason. This spot needs to be dug out here. A little high there, make it flow a little bit better probably. I gotta do this summer. It's easier to tell where it needs to be dug out now with the water run. So that one spot there. And I dug it out this morning down the end, right in this area here. Which this has to be down even more. But there's bedrock down the bottom, so you can't go much further. But this is what was happening, it was diverting over there. Look at that. <laughs> Eventually that's going to seep down going towards the basement, so I could solve all that by making sure it goes down this ditch away from the house. It's a whole secret. Ditches around your house. And it goes over that way. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's quite a bit of water. And it's all sloped away from the house, so it ain't too bad there. But once it hits the bedrock, it goes towards the house. It's got no other place to go. <clears throat> and she's building up here. Yeah, there's another spot that needs to be dug out. That'll make it go quicker. I do that today. Yeah, it's moving kind of quickly down this way now. And this is the end of the ditch. There's where I got the weeping tile there. And a bunch of clear stone on each side of it, over top. And that runs through there pretty good. And it goes along here. And then down here is another one of them cracks in the rocks. Which goes to the wishing well one which runs this way so when this gets full that one gets full and it goes out somewhere out that way oh yeah there's more and on the bottom here i guess that's coming from up that way Yeah, it's quite a bit here. Oh yeah. And it'll come from over up that way because there's a hill up there. Everything runs down this way. And that, that's where our laundry line is. I built the hump like that. So I figured the, wood, the pipe wouldn't freeze in the winter. It never has, so I guess that's working. Kind of doesn't look that great though, but it works, it works. And then that comes out, and there's a big pit in there, in this area there. And I'll fill with big rocks, like them rocks like that. And then it runs out down this way. And this is the hole I'm filling. Extra gravel I get left in my truck when I bring home. 
eventually. In a few years this will be filled up. It takes quite a bit. I don't want to go buy a whole load of gravel to fill in the hole. And then this all runs down this way towards that, the biggest crack that I can find in the property so far. It's in the turnaround. And this morning, well last night, I never videotaped all this, but this line here, the water was up to here, to that line, right, right across here. So imagine how deep that was. I had these big red boots on and it was right up to the, almost to the top of them. I guess that's 15 inches. That's how deep it was down there. But this morning when I came out, it was all draining out. This was, there was a couple of little puddles here and that was it. And it's starting to fill up because the temperature's getting up. 12 degrees now, 2.30 in the afternoon. But there's, there's where the, the big crack is. It's down there and I filled it with all them round rocks. So it flows nice down through there. Some clear stone. But yeah, it was... It was up so high, it was up to there, and I just dug out that, figuring it'd run out into the grass out there. It's the other guy's property, but his, he wouldn't even want to see back there. It's flooded right out. And then, like I said, this is going to build up. And there's the ditch. It was all covered with snow. It's all melted now. I had to dig all that out. A little this way. Yeah. Hey, uh, never had to worry about this ditch before, so all the dirt that was up here all fell in this hole. So I had to dig that out yesterday. Pain in the ass. Wet mud. Not very fun to shovel. I'll have to open it up. Get ready for the next time. Yeah, it's running out pretty good. Calculated I was pumping out every five minutes, I think 120 gallons. But you can see where it's up high right there. So I want to put the pipe right there at the end of the driveway. I just have it going in there. There's another crack on the other side here. So I have it running, I'd have to break all this through. So I once I broke that down. I wouldn't have to have a pipe out this far. I guess have it coming out here somewhere. And there's the other crack here. I don't want to step in there. I did that yesterday. I went right down. But yeah, that's full. So it's not going down any yet. It's too much water in the ground. If I had that coming out, put one of them small culverts right from the that part over there, right across through the driveway, run this black pipe through that. And then that would empty in there. It would probably work pretty good. Um, yeah, that would work good. Let's put that on the ground so it's not above ground like that. Draw another hole in the basement there. Run it out this way. And out. How much water we got in here now? Oh boy. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. That black line there. I measured that yesterday. I let the pump. <clears throat> I shut it off and I let the water build up in the basement. And by the time I was almost to the top of the the, at the top of the sump level with the floor downstairs that's where it was that black line is so this morning again the water was down below that black pipe there but still water was in the crack so not going down that quick not like last year last year I was happy I had the pump come on once moles Got lots of moles. And all these fucking moles. 
looking all over the place. Mole hills, mole tracks, mole trails. And this one here, this is not really going to work. Water's <clears throat> water's coming through the one wall there. Looks like. And anyways, it's gonna go back in the house. This ain't uh, down deep enough. That'd be a lot of work to cut the, through that bedrock, get her down low, get it away from the house. But uh, this was my idea the other day. Was to to get that down deep and I would run away from the house but oh well wasn't deep enough another foot down maybe could be all right that's a lot of work still lots of snow over here you can see the backs all flooded out by the oh, look at my my garden huh. This looks pretty deep. Walking here, guys. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We're deep there. A little more, and I'd be filling my boots. Well, the garden's just flooded. I don't have to worry about water and that. <laughs> wow. And that's not even. Any rain, imagine it was raining, water come down to downspouts. So this is all gonna go into the basement too, I imagine. Wow. I need to ditch out that way somehow. Boy, oh boy. Last year we never had this much water. Three feet of snow. That's what happens. Alright. That's it for this video.